Hey, 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 YouTube gamers, it's KB York YouTube, and we're back at you with another Minecraft tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to download and install the Minecraft Magic Launcher version 1.7.4 for Minecraft. And just in case you didn't know, the Minecraft Magic Launcher is a modding tool for Minecraft in which you can put all of your cool modded files in and play your modded files in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? This is what you do. You want to go to 9minecraft.net. That is the number 9minecraft.net. Right now, go ahead and enter that into your internet search browser. Up in the top left hand corner, go there now. That's the place to go to. They've got all kinds of mods, resource packs, texture packs, and it's a very simple, easy to use and navigate Minecraft interface. For right now, we're going to do the launcher right now. Scroll on over to Minecraft Tools, which is right up here on the top green uh, searching area. And then go to Minecraft 1.7.4 Tools. And that's going to bring you over to the Magic Launcher. This is the Magic Launcher for versions 1.7.4 all the way down to 1.5.2. Go ahead and click on that now. It's going to take you right straight to the Magic Launcher page. Do not click on the top start download link. It is an ad. Don't click on it. But go ahead and scroll on down. It's going to tell you what is Magic Launcher, show you the Magic Launcher screenshots, Magic Launcher features. Also, sometimes he does a cool little how to use and how to install Magic Launcher video. Um, this one is just basically how to use. But he's very, very uh, descriptive in how to install your, your, your downloads and your, and your mods and everything. But... This is how, we, how we're going to do it. Down here at the bottom is going to have the Ma Magic Launcher download links for 1.7 plus. You can do the Windows version, the Mac versions, or the Windows Mac Linux. Go ahead and click on download from whichever server you want to. And then it's going to take you right over here directly to the download link. This is the direct download link. This is um, from clicking on, let's see, let's go right back over there, from download from server 1 for 1.7 plus. The direct download link right here. Go ahead and click on download right now. When you do that, it's gonna ask you, do you want to run or save Magic Launcher 1.2.5 executive from the Minecraft.net? Go ahead and click save, then open it up. Or, or you can go straight to your downloads folder and grab the Minecraft Launcher, Magic Launcher, and drag it right onto your desktop just like we have. But first, before we start doing the Magic Launcher, I'm gonna give you a second and talk a little bit. Um, go ahead and go to your download uh, page and file right now. Drag your Magic Launcher right onto your desktop so that you can see it right here, just like we got so. When you get started, before you get started, open up Magic Launcher, you wanna go to your regular Minecraft Launcher and go ahead and open it up. You want to make sure that you're running and updated in your regular Minecraft to the most updated and current version that you happen to be playing and adding your mods into. Right now, we're going to go right over here back to our regular profile. We're ready to update and play Minecraft 1.7.4 and I know that we're updated, but just in case, go ahead and click play, let it start up, load, update, do what it's got to do, and it's going to start it up and update it for you. Then after you've done that, make sure you go ahead and exit out of your regular Minecraft launcher. And then you're going to go right back on over to your Magic Launcher. Start it up. We're going to run it. Hit run. And go to your setup. Once you go into setup, you're going to go into your configuration. You want to make sure that you select 1.7.4 or you can type it in as new. Go right there to the little new spot. Type in 1.7.4. Same with the environment, 1.7.4. You wanna type it in like that. That way, this is exactly why you had to update your regular Minecraft launcher first, because it creates jar files in the app data roaming folders. Um, this is just probably useless lingo right now, but it creates new files as it updates uh, in a Minecraft folder. 
You've got your Minecraft jars 1.7.4, 1.7.4 jar. We've already got some mods, but you can easily go right back in here to 9 Minecraft. Let's go, say for instance, we'll go right back up top here. We'll scroll right here to Minecraft mods. This is where we just got our new mods from. We got the X-Ray Fly mod, and we also got the Zoom mod for 1.7.4. It's easy as pie to download these mods as well. Just go ahead and click on the mod that you want to download and install. And then go right on down. Oops, I'm having a little trouble here. And scroll on down to the bottom like always for 1.7.4 or whatever version you happen to be using. Make sure that when you're downloading your mods, you're only downloading it and playing in the updated version that you are playing your Minecraft in. So for instance, you're updating and, and, and downloading a 1.7.4 mod or a 1.7.2 mod, you must play your Minecraft in that version of Minecraft. You understand what I'm saying? 1.7.4 has to be, a 1.7.4 download has to be played in 1.7.4, unless it states otherwise. Okay, 1.7.4 right here. Play it. Play your Minecraft in 1.7.4. I don't know how many times we've gotten comments in some of our videos of people saying, it, my, my mod doesn't work, my mod doesn't work. Well, your mod's not working because you're not playing in the right version a lot of the times. Okay, that's, that's a lot of the times a simple solution. Sometimes the mod just doesn't work or you got a broken download or, or something that didn't work right with your computer in the first place. Sometimes it's just trial and error. So don't get frustrated. It's all new, it's all Greek. It happens to me sometimes. There's times where I download stuff and it doesn't work. All right, so the x-ray, go ahead and download it from server one. I suggest that you make a file to so that you can easily find your mods. We're gonna go ahead and actually remove these right now. Remo we're removing them. We've got a configuration set up to 1.7.4 in the magic launcher and same with the environment. And what we're doing, we went to and, and created just a straight up Minecraft mods folder. You can easily do that by clicking on the new folder uh, button up there, creating a, a folder, putting all your download files for Minecraft into that folder so that you can easily find them. That's what you want to do first. Make a new folder, put your mods in there. Now to add the mods, all you do is go right down here into this little mods advanced type area right here. And you want to go right there to mods and click on add. It's going to take you, you're going to have to actually search out your folder that you're doing. And then just go ahead and double click each one in. And we're going to add another one. We just added the x-ray mod. Now we're adding the zoom mod in. And it's going to tell you the status is okay. It's ready to start up. These are version 1.7.4s. We're getting ready to play in 1.7.4. Go ahead and click OK. Once you do that, you're gonna go and log on in. Make sure that you enter your regular Minecraft information, your username or password, or when you log in, you can play offline. But I prefer to play online most of the time. We're gonna go ahead and set up. Go ahead and click on single player. Going right into our map. And let's check out to see if our mods are working. Looking around in the room, checking things out. Oh, x-ray mods working. Boom. We can see the tunnels and everything. The x-ray mod is really cool. It shows you the whole terrain, uh, everything underneath the regular terrain, where your caves might be, where there's lava, where there's everything, you know, your, your mining tunnels and all that cool stuff. So we already just did that. And we also added the zoom mod. The zoom mod's really cool. You can kinda, it's kinda like a binocular effect. So I'm standing right here and I'm focusing on this block right here where my crosshair is at. I'm gonna go ahead and click the zoom. Uh-oh. No, no, that, I, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> Left control, that's my zoom. Boom! We've got the zoom mod going on. That's really cool. It's a binocular type effect. I can see this, this um, block that's a far distance away. Boom. It's up close. That's pretty cool. So you've seen how to download and install the Minecraft Magic Launcher. 
You've seen the mods work with the Magic Launcher, and now you can play your mods in Minecraft Magic Launcher. Um, make sure that you stay tuned. I'm going to be showing you also how to download and install Minecraft Magic Launcher working with Minecraft Forge so that you can put in basically every single mod that there is in the game for most of the newer and more previous versions of Minecraft. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been another Caden Yerk uh, YouTube Minecraft tutorial. Don't forget to slap that like button and don't forget to mash down on that subscribe button as well. YouTube, subscribe today! Hee <laughs> hee!